Well, holy smokers, folks, this ain't no joke as we get to talk about AMC stocks. So much going on with this one, so much movement, so many different moving pieces. We're going to talk about the $10 million drama so much. As always, all I ask is that you guys smash. We have a busy video. Oh, by the way, look at, look at, check it out. You know what that is? Okay. Some of you guys might know what that is. Some of you guys might not. Okay. Little one on the way. All right, guys. So let's get into this AMC. Oh my gosh. Where do we even start with this one? Okay. Look at the volume here today. 202 million shares traded hands today. Crazy volume, okay? Compared to usually 87 million shares trade hands, okay? That is a lot of shares traded, over 200 mil volume for AMC is massive, okay? Market cap pushed over $7 billion here today. Look at the move specifically that happened later in the day, okay? Talk about a move here, okay? Look at 12.50, this is Eastern time, okay? We're talking here, okay? 12.50 Eastern time, AMC is trading at about $14 and some change a share, okay? It pushes all the way over $16 a share. Are you flipping my flapjacks by the close? 16.41 is where it closed at here today. My gosh, look at that move. Up almost 20%, up 19.96% here today. And meanwhile, if I recall, the Dow was down today, S&P 500, I believe, was down today. The NASDAQ was also down today, if I recall. And if I recall, the Russell 2000 was also down, okay? And so needless to say, it was not like it was some great day in the market where everything was euphoric, and AMC makes a nearly 20% upward move with over 200 million shares trading hands. Craziness, okay? We're gonna get into where I think the stock's going and all those sorts of things as well in this video, okay? Look at them, basically, on January 7th of 2021, okay? Not that dang long ago. What is that, like five months ago? Okay, January 7th, 2021. These shares were trading at two bucks. It was a two buck chuck stock, okay? It was a two buck chuck stock here today trading at 1641. The only time it's really been higher is when that initial huge, you know, GameStop, AMC stock and everything, everybody, that was like all the talk and things like that. That was the only time this stock in any time in recent history has been higher than it was today at 1641. But that's just massive. I mean, that's like an 8x of your money in a matter of five months, you know, roughly. Crazy, right? But you, you had a situation where back then, let's be honest, there was a lot of people doubting if AMC could make it through. A lot of folks felt like AMC might be done. They might go bankrupt, right? Their financial position was not in the best, but then they raised some money, then they got to raise some more money, and then, you know, all of a sudden things started moving in the right direction, right around Roni Ronin in the hope that movie theaters could open back up, things like that, right? And needless to say, it has been quite a ride. Look at this. This is, this is some crazy stuff, okay? AMC Theater CEO uses Twitter, Twitter, to build relationships with retail investors. Movie chain chief takes unusual step to engage publicity or, or publicly with shareholders. He's engaging publicly with shareholders. Look at this, okay? This is, this is some different stuff. If you're a small investor and you own shares of AMC Entertainment Holdings, don't be surprised if you get a Twitter follower from a company's chairman and, and CEO, Adam Aaron. What in the world? The 67-year-old CEO of the world's largest movie theater chain is looking to get to know his investor base by becoming more active on Twitter. A person with direct knowledge of the matter tells Fox Business that Aaron currently follows about a thousand, one thousand AMC retail stockholders on social media platform and plans to follow one thousand more over the coming weeks so that he can quote better understand the phenomenon that has changed, you know, who owns AMC. What in the world? This is crazy, okay? No. I got to be honest in this whole situation, although this is super interesting as far as, you know, him personally following I do wonder, I do wonder if there's actually somebody that works for AMC or, you know, that they have sifting through all this and trying to find out, you know, folks that own the stock. I don't know if it's necessarily a CEO out there. Maybe it's somebody that has access to them and then they're going ahead and following folks. But I got to say, it's an interesting idea. Uh, and, you know, folks obviously, you know, do the hashtag of like AMC stock or whatever it is, right? Uh, different types of uh, things where you can kind of filter through and find out like who's talking about AMC stock. Then you go ahead and follow those folks, right? It's not like rocket science, but it's honestly a very, very interesting idea. And folks do love to talk about stocks on Twitter, by the way, which, by the way, I'm not on Twitter. But, you know, folks do love to talk about stocks on Twitter. I'm just on about everything else. Check out the link in the description. You'll find I'm pretty much on everything else except Twitter, okay? 
Look at this here today, okay? Or actually, yeah, roughly. AMC price target raised, celebrating affirmed at City, okay? So first off, when I read this, I was thinking, okay, um, let's see, price target raised. So I was like, well, maybe they raised it to, well, since they still have a sell on the stock, it might be lower than what the stock's trading that today. So I was thinking, oh, maybe they raised it to $10, maybe $12, maybe $15, something like that, okay? And then we look a little deeper and what do we find? Oh my gosh, okay? This city analyst, Jason, he nearly doubled his price target to $3.70, you gotta be flipping my flapjacks. $3.70? Wow, what a pray, what a movement there, man. I mean, the stock today is at 16 and some change, and they're talking about, you know, 370. Oh my gosh, okay. To be sure, he kept his sell rating. Yeah. When you raise your price target to $3.70 and the stock's at 16 and some change today, yeah, okay. <laughs> I guess you kept your, your sell rating on the stock, needless to say, okay. Look at this, this is interesting. This came out yesterday, I just saw this, okay? Reddit traders help Chinese billionaire exit AMC with gain, okay? And I saw this and I was like, what in the heck is going on here? This is quite interesting. Chinese billionaire Wang of the Wanda Group was facing headwinds on AMC Entertainment Holdings investment as a movie chain was obviously hit by Ronnie Rona because they had to close down, right? Then the retail investor army, Reddit's Wall Street Bets Forum, stepped in, helping send AMC shares up 839% in January. Wanda has taken advantage of the rally, cutting its stake to just 0.002% from 6.8% in April 9th disclosure, according to a filing on Friday. The company has gained about $675 million, including dividends from its investment since 2012, according to Bloomberg analysts. What's crazy is they were selling, there's so much craziness about this. Let's just finish this up and then I'm going to get into all this craziness around this Wanda situation. Okay, Wanda bought AMC in May of 2012 and took the company public the following year. It started to trim its position from 2018 as a conglomerate, which accumulated large debts from acquiring overseas trophy assets. Okay. So this is so interesting in regards to kind of this Wanda situation on kind of two fronts here for a moment, okay? First off, like, I don't think the, the retail traders care anything about helping the Chinese billionaire, like, get out of this position or something like that. At the end of the day, the retail traders, all they care about is making money. All they care about is if they bought the stock at two or four or six or eight or 10, in that hopefully it goes to 20 plus over time. That's what retail investors care about. They don't care about, oh, some Chinese billionaire got out of the stock. What's interesting is, as this Chinese billionaire or this fund or company or whatever has sold their shares, yet yeah, AMC's still been pretty much a beast, which is crazy because you think about all that selling pressure on the stock. And now, as an AMC shareholder, it would actually make me feel much more comfortable that now they're pretty much out. They own almost nothing in the company now at this point. And so that whole huge sloshing of selling pressure is going to be gone now moving forward, which is actually pretty darn interesting if you're a shareholder and you care anything about any type of short-term stock price movement around the stock. That's actually pretty darn interesting that they're that that selling pressure is just going to go bye bye now. Very intriguing. Okay, now this stock, let's be clear, is all of a sudden becoming the it stock stock again. Okay, as far as like everybody talking about it, I was on Yahoo mess, message boards, right, and I was looking at newest reactions. Look at this: twelve seconds ago, fourteen seconds ago, sixteen seconds ago, twenty three seconds ago, fifty six seconds ago. I don't even want to see what's going on in Wall Street Bets. If there's this sort of interaction going on in Yahoo Finance, like Wall Street Bets got to be crazy right now, okay, in regards to AMC stock. And from my understanding, GameStop is, is also a talk now as well, okay? But needless to say, whoa, okay, the, this stock is back in the trends. And by the way, you want to speak about trends? Let's look at Google Trends, okay? Look at Google Trends in the past day. I mean, this is just, woo, just a massive spike in interest for AMC stock. So needless to say, Everybody's also looking at AMC stock. It seems like over the past, uh, you know, ever since, you know, kind of the January huge move up for, for GameStop and AMC, those are kind of the poster childs with GameStop being the main one, right? Then the attention kind of got taken from that and it went over to crypto, right? Crypto all of a sudden has kind of plummeted. Almost every single crypto over the past two or three weeks has just went, whew, okay? A lot of them are down 30, 40, 50, 60, 70% in literally just the past few weeks. And now all of a sudden we're seeing this huge movement back to 
AMC stock, GameStop, these type of stocks are all of a sudden the trends again. Like I say, men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie, man. Look at this, okay? I mean, obviously this doesn't show today what happened, but today if, if this was accurately portraying, it'd be somewhere up here. Not as high as it was back in January, but still pretty darn close as far as the trends go for AMC stock out there. So a lot of folks are all of a sudden interested in this one again, okay? Now, if you're thinking about the AMC bullish case around the stock, okay? AMC actually has a lot going for it, okay? One is obviously they got to raise a lot of money. Two is uh, all of a sudden we're getting into a situation where the economy is opening back up again. People are starting to go to things that are like public events where there's a lot of other people there, okay? Uh, I'm watching, all of a sudden I saw a basketball game the other night, and I got to say, I don't know how many people were there at that basketball game, but it looked like a lot of dang people. It was not a full stadium, but it was looking pretty dang busy. I would not be surprised at all if the NBA Finals, I would not be surprised at all if the NBA Finals is full stadium, okay? I'm already seeing a lot of places go no mask now. I was in Arizona, obviously, the past several weeks. I just got back to Vegas recently this weekend, right? And I got to say, in Arizona... It was hard to find people wearing masks any dang place now. I mean, I'm, I'm talking restaurants. I'm talking gyms. I'm talking the local coffee shop. I, I mean, it's really getting hard to find anybody wearing a mask anymore in Arizona, okay? And that's going to spread throughout the entire country over the next few months, in my opinion, okay? That's going to spread throughout the entire country. And folks are going to get more and more used to just going places and doing things and getting excited again, right? I, I hear the Las Vegas Strip is already getting back to full capacity from my understanding or is going to over the next week or so. And already, like, you know, it's already becoming like kind of a maskless place. So this whole movement is something that's going to be huge. And the movie theaters, in my opinion, are going to benefit massively from this. I think folks are ready to go to the movies again. I think there's a lot of folks that love that activity. I think a lot of folks that have taken that for granted for a while. And I think uh, the movies could be in a very good spot for at least the next year or two. Five years from now, 10 years from now, that could be a different story. But for the next one to two years, I think there's going to be a huge push for folks being excited to go to the movies again just because they can and that was taken away from them, okay? There's going to be this like huge pent-up demand that happens over the next one to two years. And so you're looking at movies like this, The Conjuring coming in June, right? There's a lot of movies coming, Fast and Furious 9, I, you know. Uh, I can't even believe like how many dang Fast and Furious movies. I remember I was such a fan. I, I think the, the first one came out when I was in like fifth or sixth grade. I was such a fan of that first movie, man. And it was really about cars for the most part, right? I don't even think the movies are anything about cars anymore. But neither say those movies are huge. They wouldn't keep making them and, and support that staff if the movies didn't do numbers, right? That's supposed to come out in late June, right? This Black Widow movie is supposed to come out July 9th, which is out of Marvel, which you know anytime Marvel does a movie, those usually do pretty dang well, right? Space Jam, that could be huge. I don't know if it's going to be as big as the first Space Jam. I'll be honest about that. But there's no, di ja there's no doubt. Like, you do a Space Jam movie, it's going to do numbers. Uh, no doubt about that. That's supposed to come out in July. That is also, keep in mind, that is supposed to also be on HBO Max. So maybe that hurts numbers a little bit. But like I said, I feel like there's this huge pent-up demand uh, that folks are going to want to go to the movies. Families are going to want to go to the movies and things like that. Okay, You look at something like this. This is something to get hyped on, right? Box office enjoys biggest weekend since the, you know, thing shut down theaters, right? Box office revenue from March 5th through March 7th weekend was estimated at $25 million with New York City starting to reopen to 25% capacity. Don't be surprised if all these movie theaters over the next few months go to either 75% or 100% capacity, okay? I believe that's probably going to happen over the next few months, 100% of capacity, and then you'll probably likely in different markets be able to actually watch movies without a mask on, which is also another big thing, and I could definitely see that kind of playing out over the summer, and and therefore, along with you know some some exciting movies that are for families and whatnot, I think there's definitely going to be a big push back out there to the movie theaters with then lining up in 2022 as being that year where you get this huge slate of movies coming, right? And things really get roaring back. So needless to say, I think there's a lot to be darn excited about if I'm actually an AMC shareholder, if I'm looking at the stock at all, okay? Now, I made a video. I made a video. It was called I'm All in AMC Stock. It was over three months ago I made that video. Okay. And yeah, video got a lot of views 191,000 views. And, you know, for my channel, that's a lot of views. And, you know, yeah, I spoke very positively about AMC and I liked what I saw there. Okay. And that video was recorded on February 9th. Okay. And uh, yes, I do smash my own thumbs up. I, like, how am I supposed to watch one of my videos back and not smash, okay? And by the way, I appreciate it if you guys smash as well, okay? I just got to smash. But that video was recorded on February 9th, 2021. What was 
AMC stock price on February 9, 2021. That stock was $5 in 50 cents a share. $5 and 50 cents a share. Okay. So yeah, if I went all in AMC stock, like, you know, the, the video said there on that day, I would be up over eight figures right now, eight figures in like what? Four months, three months, eight figures. I'm not talking about a small amount. Oh my gosh. Okay. No, you know, because it was it was five dollars and fifty cents, and it's sixteen something. So if I really went all in that stock, I would be up eight figures here today. Okay, but when I look back, obviously that was not a realistic situation for me. There, there's something I got to tell you that I think uh, you know is going to transpire here in AMC stock, and you know, there's something I think could have been really interesting. But let's be honest, I wouldn't have gone all in the stock, right? There's just no way. Um, you know, it's too risky, right? I mean, what if I don't know, Rony Rona got worse, or um, you know, I don't know. There's many various things that could have happened that you know could have sent their stock down, right? So that was unrealistic. But the one thing I will say I should have done, because you watch that video and how bullish I actually was in AMC and how excited I actually was for that stock being five dollars a share, right? Looking back now, I definitely should have at least bought some calls in it. Should have bought some short-term calls because I had this whole bullish thesis for the stock over the next one to two years, right? On why I was excited for that stock for the next one to two years. And to do nothing and sit on my hands was not an intelligent decision. I should have bought call options. Obviously, I wouldn't have gone all in the stock. It was completely unrealistic, but I should have at least bought some one year out call options because at that time, call options were getting hit heavily, right? When that stock was trading at $5, people were, you know, the, the call option premiums you were having to pay for $5 strikes, $8 strikes, $10 strikes were, woo, they were shrinking fast. I could have easily bought one year out call options and maybe put, you know, let's say half a million dollars in those call options. A lot of those call options now would be worth probably five mil plus as of right now, five mil plus. So $500,000 I could have bought worth of call options to be worth today well over $5 million, over $5 million on a $500,000 bet. So I didn't even have to put myself in a situation where I went all in the stock. Cause like I said, you know, especially being in my position where I'm kind of like, you know, somebody that is supposed to be, you know, kind of practical about the market. Being practical is not going all in a stock, even if you do believe in the short term. But I could have easily said, okay, let me just put this money over here. Let's go put a half mil and some call options in AMC. Go ahead. I would have made myself many millions of dollars, which now I could profit on that and sell out of that, take those profits, and then pour into, I don't know, other stocks I love for the long term, like TTCF or Corsair Gaming or some of those stocks, right? Because my whole thing with AMC is not that this was ever going to become a $50 or $100 stock, although it could be, okay? Maybe this goes to 50, maybe it goes to $100. That's not my thing when it comes to AMC. My thing when it came to AMC was get in at five something and this could potentially probably go to $15 to $20 again. And that's exactly what's played out here, even though the market has not been amazing. And it's exactly what I thought was going to play out is played out. And I didn't make any dang money from the situation and I should have made a lot. But congrats to anybody else that made money from the stock or is making money from the stock. I hope you guys continue to do amazing on it. Uh, I'll be honest with me and my situation. If I was in the stock, I would be getting out in the 15 to $20 range. Not because I don't believe it can't go up higher. It's just that's what I was personally looking for in this one as kind of a short term move. So I would have been kind of cashing as it you know kind of moves up. I probably would have cashed some calls today. If it pushes up to 17, 18, 19, 20 dollars, probably would have cashed some more and kind of went that way. But needless to say, this stock's a beast. It's in focus again, and uh, I'm going to be watching it. It's going to be a fun one to watch. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, let me know what your opinion is on AMC stock. Where do you think that stock price is going? I would love to hear from you guys in the comment section. As always, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to smash. If you want to check out my private stock group, private Discord chat, everything like that, check out the first pinned comment down there. Much love, guys, and peace.